I've been really open with my group about, and they know me to a T. And like, if it ain't right, they're the first to be like, "Hey, man, you good? Like, what's what's going on?" And we, you know, you got to build your group. You you're, you're, you have a, an amazing group. Like the people that uh, look up to you and follow you. Like I think like a really great reflection is like people who like you. Mm -hmm. Like people who like you. Are dope mm -hmm. hardworking, cool amazing bright uh talented uh interesting people all, like all of them and that's like that just speaks so truly that's how i knew you were dope oh shit thanks like, bro people who I, with you they're like yeah that dude can i tell you a really funny thing that's funny so, i thought you were talking about your i thought no, no, no. i didn't know you were no, talking dude, about me thanks man so this is like this is how i knew you were my favorite actor so me oh, my boys were watching uh we were watching your, your, a show of yours, and you were, uh, so I get, me and my boys, and I always get this feeling when I see a sex scene in a movie or a TV or whatever, maybe it's because I just grew up Catholic and yeah. you're going to go to hell, whatever. <laughs> but I always get that feeling I'm watch, watching it with my mom. Yeah. Like, even if I'm with my boys, like, I'm like, oh, I don't want to, like, yeah. watch, like, yeah. you know, I don't want to see Jude Law stroke, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I, I don't know. But with you, I'm like, yeah, f yeah, dude that yeah get in there dude like we're rooting for you we're like yeah get 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 it man like that's how i knew you were my favorite <laughs> actor. Like, i'm I ugly like, bro I was like, I'm that's watching. all it is yeah, like, yeah. that ugly motherfucker's yeah, no, fucking no, no, no. like we can all yeah, fuck you like, know what i mean dude, there's room for all of like, us that dude's an animal and he deserves that <laughs> right now and he works really hard that's and so I'm, I'm so appreciative that he's getting some ass Look right at now. his ears but dude. yeah no but like yeah like that's the, you're the only person <laughs> Thanks, and, and my boy was like yeah, I do want to see you <laughs> succeed in the bedroom. Like it's like that's that. hilarious. Like it's dude. so funny. Like, that's so and fucking funny, bro. And then you did funny, the perfect bro. show for me to watch. That's how <laughs> shit, bro. That is so but, yeah. funny, dude. But yeah, that I don't know how I got there. You know, you are known so much for you, and and you you you're you're extraordinarily like well known and shit. And I get that, and I I get I get the pressure on that. I just I I hope that uh, I hope that that's easy. You know, I hope that, and if it's not easy, I hope it gets easier. Oh, thanks, man. It is getting it's getting easier because I get I'm starting to get, I guess, the game a little bit. Yeah. Yo, who is uh, like who who are like the, the these guys to you? Like who like some of the people that are here today? So Simon is my brother from another mother. Uh, we're just the same person. Uh, I met Simon ten years ago on uh, the Happy Madison lot. Uh, Sandler when he had a Sony deal, he had a house on the yeah. I remember talking yeah, about yeah. A dude who does it right. That dude had a fucking house on the Sony lot with his boys in there. And I remember I had like a general meeting with like Alan Covert or one of his uh, you know producers. And I was just like, in my head, I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna get to see the Sandman. Like, oh my God, it's so crazy. And I'm sitting there just like, just picture like, a, cause I look this pretty much the same, but like 19, just like fucking just like geeky. Like my shoulders are up to here, just like so nerdy, just like this, this is my idol. I auditioned for Big Daddy when I was like fucking four years old. So excited. Didn't know he was there. He just comes out, giant T-shirt with, like, a little bit of pizza on it and, like, basketball shorts and high socks. And he's just, like, goes into the fridge, gets a gator, and he just goes, hey, did my wife send you here to make me seem fat? <laughs> and I just went, huh, what? He goes, you're going to be all right, kid. He just walked out, and I was just like, what the fuck? So I just, like, went up to the top, the blacktop of that parking lot and was just sitting there chilling. And he had a, he's a basketball nut, so he has hoops everywhere. Yeah. Simon's up there. And Swartzen and we just played ball and we like kind of connected and then like weirdly like a couple years later we we became friendly and now you know pretty much roommates and Alex I met uh, well, I used to have social media and I wasn't really good at social media I would post like just pictures of Tony Soprano in like the pool and be like Monday like you know, I was like such a little thought like a little like thoughty girl on Instagram. <laughs> And I was just obsessed with The Sopranos. And I did this show in DC at the Arlington Draft House. Um, and it was at the time I used to do meet and greets because you know, there'd only be like 100 people or whatever. And Alex came and I think he was like 18 or 19 in, in college. And uh, he just came up and he, HBO back in the day before it was like streaming or whatever to get people excited, they would send like care packages in the mail. And they sent like like a new season of Sopranos was going to come out, so they sent a Sopranos globe. It's actually a super rare globe, and it's hard to find. And I met him after, and he didn't ask for a picture or anything. He just was like, he gave me this globe, and he was just like, "Hey, I stole this from my dad. I figured you would, would really like it." And I was like, "Well, we just get, became best friends." And like now he could ruin my life with the press of a button, yeah. and uh, I trust him with everything. And he's uh, yeah, he's he's my best friend, and we just uh, yeah, just 
it's it's a great we got a great group now yeah. and john i met uh we're working on uh this uh ramones script with uh netflix and we were introduced and just immediately were just like oh yeah you get it you know and and we we work together on uh on my show and it's just you know organic cool people okay. meeting cool people that have very similar interests and uh and but more importantly like i respect them all as amazing yeah. human beings and i look forward to hanging with them so okay. it's, it's always a treat when you hang out with these guys fuck yeah yeah fuck yeah. hey what's going on everybody it's john bam bam the dog uh, first, on behalf of both of us and everybody from the Real Ones team, I just want to sincerely thank you guys for, for, for tuning in. The folks that I bring on the show, they're family to me, and uh, being able to tell their stories and bringing you into their world is something that I'm, I'm just super proud of and, uh, again, grateful that you guys tune in. We've decided we want to take things just a step further. It's a Patreon community, and basically what that means is if you become a part of this community, look, I already bored Bam Bam. If you want to become a part of this community, you're going to be able to hear episodes early and all that, ad-free and all that good stuff, but there's all this behind-the-scenes footage, all this stuff that we've shot um, that really brings you into the folks that we've had on the show, really brings you into their world. Live chats with me and the folks that I bring on the show to talk about their world, talk about the issues that they're dealing with, about their triumphs and their tragedies. Just go to Patreon slash Real Ones on this website that you see right there, right on the screen, that's right in front of you. This whole idea was um, something about building bridges and, 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 and bringing people together and um, bringing folks that often don't get the mic and, and giving the mic to them. So the fact that you guys tune in means the world. Anyways, again, thank you. Uh, be good to each other out there. Rock and roll. I'm going to get a workout in a little bit with my man Eric Linden, stunt coordinator from The Punisher. He's coming all the way up because we are about to get after it. And when that's done, he asks me in the car, are you going to have my shake ready? And I know what that means. Am I going to have my Sun Warrior shake? They've got the active protein, but they also have this collagen protein, which is amazing. They also have uh, the Warrior blend, which is a little bit lighter if you're trying to cut. And uh, I believe in it. I believe in that Sun Warrior stuff. Go to www.sunwarrior.com dot com slash real ones.